welcome back to my channel here i'll be showing you how you can construct any regular polygon when you are given the diameter of a circle how you can construct any regular polygon given the diameter of a circle um i will be using a diameter of 60 millimeters a diameter of 60 millimeter to construct the polygon and i'll be constructing a seven-sided polygon which is a heptagon so the first to do is to draw a horizontal line so we draw a horizontal line like this any length so on this line i've taken a measurement of 60 millimeters 60 millimeters so this is uh, the first point and this and this is the second point that they are 60 millimeters apart so i will call this point here i'll call it point a and this end of the line i will call it point b so the next thing i'm going to do is that um so i let me i need to locate the midpoint of the line which is 30 millimeter away from either a or b so i put the pinpoint of my compass at this point here so and i will extend it to point b then i will draw a circle like this so draw a circle like this now as i draw this circle so the next thing i'm going to do is to divide distance a b into the number of equal parts that I want the polygon to be. So if I want the polygon to be five-sided, I have to divide AB into five equal parts. If I want the polygon to be six-sided, I have to divide AB into six equal parts. If I want it to be seven-sided, which is a heptagon, I have to divide AB into seven equal parts. So as I said that um, I want to construct a seven-sided polygon, which is a heptagon. So I have to divide AB into seven equal parts. So what I need to do now, is to take my uh, my set square so set it like this so I set like this so and I will draw a line from here like this so I'm going to take my compass and so take any give any convenient radius and I'll make seven arcs on this line so this is one so this is two this is three this is four, this is five, this is six, and this is uh, the seventh one. Okay, so we have one to seven. So the last point I will join it, which I believe you know how to divide a given line into a number of equal parts. So I will join the last point to this the end of the line here, like this. So I'm going to use my set square. To draw parallel lines to this one so i'm going to pause my the video for me to do that and then i will come back when i'm done with that all right so the line has been divided into seven equal parts so the next thing i'm going to do is to take my compass so put the point at a and extend to b then i'm going to draw an arc up like this okay so i'm going to draw an arc up like this as you can see so then i will take the same radius put the midpoint at b so it touches a here then i will draw an arc like this so the arc intersects at this point so i will call this point i will call it point p here the point of intersection of the arcs so the next thing i'm going to do is to draw a line from p passing through two for any a uh, regular polygon that you want to construct so all you need to do is to draw a line from point p passing through point two for any regular polygon that you want to construct using this method so i will draw a line from p so passing through point two and it goes like this so wherever it touches here so it touches this point i'll call this point i'll call it point d so I'll call it point D. So the next thing I'm going to do is to join A, D together with the straight line. So I join A, D together like this. Okay, so then I will take my compass and take distance A, D like this. So we are gotten the first point. We need six more points. So I'll take, take this distance. Then I'll make an arc here. So this is true. I make an arc here. This is three. So I make an arc here. This is four. Then I make an arc here. So this is five. Then I'll put the pinpoint at this point. 
I'll make an arc here. So this is six. So the rest is the seventh one. So here we be. So this will be as um so B C so this is um so I'll call this C. This is E. So this is F. So this is G and this is H. So I'm going to join all these together. So I'll join all these together. So join all these points together. So from here to here. Okay. Then I will join G H together like this. So join B F together. Then I will join E F together. So I will join C E together. Like this. Then I will join E C together. Alright, so this is how to construct any regular polygon using these methods. As simple as I've shown it here, all you need to do is to practice. And as I said, I can use this method to construct a regular polygon of any number of sides. And I said, all you need to do is to make sure that you divide distance AB, which is the diameter of the uh, circle, into a number of equal parts that you have to make the polygon to be. Thank you and keep on practicing.